Snell's law is a formula that's used to describe the relationship between the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction as uh, light travels from one media to another. So I'll show you what the formula is and then we'll go ahead and define it. Okay, so this is the formula N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. All right, so now let's have a look what these things are. N1 is the refractive index of the first media. N2 is the refractive index of the second media. Theta 1 is the angle of incidence. And theta 2 is the angle of refraction. So let's just go ahead and write these down. N1 is the refractive index of the first media. N2 is shorthand, the refractive index of the second media. Okay. Theta 1 is the angle of incidence. Theta 2 is the angle of refraction. Of course, we've got sine, which is, uh, we can just use our calculator to calculate that, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so, essentially, just like all formulas, this, is, this has got four potential, four variables, and if we know three of them, we can work out the other one by manipulating it, etc. So we're going to work out some problems. So in this particular problem, the angle of incidence, or theta 1, is 30 degrees. The light is travelling from air, and we can say that the refractive index of air is 1. Okay, so what we're going to do first is look at light travelling from air into a second media, um, and the angle of incidence is 30 degrees, theta 1 is 30 degrees, and you can see it bends towards the normal, so it must be going to a media that's more dense, and theta 2 is 19 degrees, theta 2, 19 degrees. Now we need to work out the N2. What is the refractive index of the second media? Let's write down the formula as we know it. Now we want to work out N2, so we're going to put that one by itself on the left-hand side. So that's one that's going to be N1 sine theta 1 divided by sine of theta 2. Okay. So we can go ahead and substitute. N1 is just 1. So the refractive index of air is 1. So 1, so we don't have to write that. We've got the sine of 30. We can divide that by the sine of 19. So this is where you're going to have to use your scientific calculator. Bracket, 30, sine, close bracket divided by bracket 19 sine bracket equals, and we've got 1.53, 1.53, and that was N2. N2 equals 1.53. Let's do a reality check. Does that sound right? Uh, let's see. It's more dense, so it's bent towards a normal. That's exactly what we want. Okay. Good, all right, so now we've got another problem here. This time we've got a problem where we've been told that the, um, the first um, medium has got a refractive index of 1.5 and the second medium has got a refractive index of 1. So therefore it's going to something that's less dense, it's bending away from the normal. We're told that our angle of incidence is 30 degrees, so the theta 1 is 30 degrees, and we're asked to find theta 2 equals question mark. All right, so let's see if we can uh, plug that into our formula, rearrange our equation, plug all that in, and then get a calculation. All right, so the formula as we know it, N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. Now, we're trying to work out N2 and have that by itself. So, I uh, beg your pardon. So we're trying to work out theta 2. So let's keep it as the sine of theta 2 equals n1 sine theta 1 divided by n2. Z was 
1.5 and and the sine of 30 is actually 0.5 divided by n2 which is 1 so we don't have to say that we can just say it's 0.75 now so what we're trying to do is work out the inverse sine of 0.75 so let's go to our calculator and work that out 0.75 inverse sine and that is what we're after okay so okay so that was 48.6 degrees now let's see if that sounds about right it's bending away from the normal so the angle of refraction should be larger than the angle of incidence and it is